Well, hey, uh, you know, uh, people think I'm kidding uh, when I say I do love this girl. She's friggin' amazing, you guys. Wow, look at that. That's incredible. Woo, I'm your biggest fan. Anyway, I just want to tell you it's a good time out tonight. I, uh... Oh, excuse me, you're still here. What I wanted to say was it's, it's been a great time just kind of finding uh, the balance of life and realizing what's really important. And I just wanted you to know that, that uh, life is good if you choose it to be because happiness is a, uh, is a choice. It's not something that happens to you. It's not something that you find someday. It's something you choose to have. And you gotta go within yourself and you gotta surgically remove all the pain and all the things that bother you in your life, the memories, the past, those things that bother you, that plague your mind, you gotta go in and surgically remove those out of your mind, get rid of them out of your heart, and, and let them go. Not just let them go, but command them to go. And once you do that, then you can find a beautiful place within yourself on a regular basis. Like I said, you don't find it someday. It's not something you have to earn. It's something you choose. You choose it on a daily, moment-to-moment -moment basis. And you know, the thing is, is that I just love being alive. And it's, it's, it's been a long time coming, and I'm really happy that, that I can share this with you guys out there. And you know, I have my grandmother to think. I have to say this every time. I love my grandmother, you know. She's been a beautiful light in my life. And I, and I wish everyone out there could experience the love that I've experienced in my lifetime uh, and, and, and realize this beauty that I can see on a daily basis. I look out of my eyes and all around me, I see the beauty of life because that's what I look for. And what are you going to look for? Are you going to look for the, the, the gum on the sidewalk? Are you going to look for the grass and the flowers that grow between the cracks? And I encourage you right now to look for that flower in your life, to look for that beauty, to look for that something that brings you joy and allow it to lift you up, allow it to change your perspective and take you higher because it's up to you, it's up to me whether I will live my life or I will die in misery. Whoa, that rhyme, what do you know? Poet and didn't know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, what I was trying to say was, is, you know, I love people who are loving and kind and beautiful and find hope inside themselves. You know, and I look up to them. And I always want to praise my heroes. I just want to give a moment. All right, well, enough said. That was, I'm telling you, this this girl is a hero of mine, and I just want to share with the world, there's a lot of heroes out there of mine, you know. But Miley Cyrus has always been a beautiful influence on my life since she was a young girl. She's like, had this uplifting, giving spirit, and I love her for that. And Orianti, she's got a beautiful heart, man, and she comes from a place of, of courage and strength. And you know, and you'll just tap into the people, those people that are your heroes. You know, and I like a lot of people. I mean, Alice Cooper's freaking amazing. I mean, here he is, what, I don't know, 65 years old. He's out there, like, still rocking the freaking planet. What a glorious man. And I'm just, all I'm saying is, is that if you tap into those people that you love, that, that, that have something to offer you, well, then you can channel their strength into your own personal life and their joy will exude through you, you know. And I mean, that's kind of the, the Krishna teachings, you know, they, they teach you to, to honor and respect the gurus. And by doing that, you're, you, you're tapped into the, you know, the flow of the connectedness of, with the universe through that guru, because the guru is connected to the universe. And that's what we're looking for is people who are connected, people who are bringing something to the table to, that, that will bless other people. And if you connect with those people, those people will change your life. And so I encourage you right now to connect with people that bring you life. And, it, 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 and, it, and in turn, you can bring other people life. I'm available for your love. 
just love me all you want to. I'm excited about that, and, and I want you to know that you're welcome to love me. You're welcome to care about me, and I will love and care about you in return. We can create a world. I'm going to love and care about you anyway, really. I mean, you know, hey, I might kick your ass. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, mm. But really, the point is, as I'm saying, is that we can create a world of beauty. And I told other people before, you know, I'm prepared for either way. You know, I've got, I've got what I need to make it through. You know, if, if the world takes a nosedive and everybody decides to hate each other, well, you know, I'm going to be knocking heads. If not, you know, hey, I'm all about hugs and, and, and holding people around their neck and walking around and friendly, chumly, all buddy-buddy, stuff like that, too. So, I, you know, it's our choice. You know, it's something that we can choose to be, you know, and I'm not going to force you to choose, you know, love and what's good for you and what's light. And I'm not going to force you to do what you need to do on a daily basis, you know, to make your life better and feel better. You know, I'm just going to be what I got to be to be happy. And hopefully you'll do the same thing. Anyway, this is Robbie Rocket, uh, and you have been listening to a Token Free Thinker production. All right, later.